seems filthy, bro. Look how filthy this is. <laughs> All right, so this is what's going on. Um, all of you guys can see the truck is completely the same. Uh, so what's happening right now is I've left this truck here for about two weeks now and the truck has nothing done with it. As you guys can see, there's plenty of trucks here that need to be worked on. And um, even this guy over here in that custom shop over there says that this dude does um, really bad work. That, um, or not that he, do, he does good work, but he does that at his own pace. And it's actually pretty messed up because that Dodge truck over there is his family member. And um, he, I guess he's had one of her cars here one of these cars here for over a year and he hasn't done nothing with this so um and he's not here he should be open right now but apparently he got injured and he's in vegas so we're gonna be taking my truck uh we're calling a locksmith right now but um the truck should have been dropped already guys um but yeah you guys can see he has lots and lots of trucks here that he hasn't done nothing with so that's the dilemma right now um, but yeah, a locksmith is on the way. Three weeks later. All right, just got back. Let me show you guys what the truck looks like. Mm -hmm. 24s on the skinnies. Just took them off. before and after all right guys got a little bit of cast going out and um just got a special package that arrived for you guys let's go check it out there it is yeah i'm about to take this old hood, old hood off but you guys are gonna see the difference that it makes this is the before. Just threw it on. There's a new look of it. Jeez. Looks clean. I was gonna fix up these little gaps here. Like put the light about right about there. This gap is good. Gap's good. Just right here, gotta fix that. But there it is. Looks real nice. Damn man, bye. Look how aggressive it looks. Jeez. Yeah, we still got the 24s tucked away back here, ready for their new owner. Um, these things are sick, but. These are 24s. I'm going to be looking for 22s. Um, and everybody has these. So, I mean, I'm trying to be somewhat different. But, um, yeah, I got the 24s tucked away back here. You guys kind of see them right there. We got some long tube headers right there. So, um, but that's going to be coming in another video performance. Uh, not, a, I mean, I'm not sure if it's going to go on this truck that I have right out there. But um, single cab will for sure be more towards the performance side um but yeah these are waiting for the new owner and uh, we should be looking for 22 soon but um looks like a junkyard back here we got the hubcaps we got a the old hood i got this random cat eye hood back here it's trying to look like a little junkyard <clears throat> all right so the whole situation with the drop kit and so it all goes back it all goes back to, when was it? July 28th. Uh, so I dropped my truck off at this shop and I talked to the guy. Um, I'll, I'll show you guys, I'll put on the screen here, uh, what his shop, what his page looked like. Uh, he looked like he knows what he was doing. There was a couple of people that um, they got some work done by him. Um, but I left it there for two weeks. And he said he ordered the kit. I uh, gave him $1,200 to order the kit. Um, and he did everything that I thought was normal. 
And so I gave them $1,200. I dropped my truck off and I left it there for two weeks. So I left it there for a week and he said he would be done. So I get back and he's not done. And I send him a bunch of messages. He's not answering. And I'll put up on the screen right here that you can see how many times I text him. Uh, and he just wouldn't answer. So he had $1,200 of my money. Uh, long story short, this guy said uh, he did. He was going to do this, that, and the third. Uh, but he didn't. Uh, we don't, I don't even know if he ordered the kit or not. But, um, yeah, I ended up calling the landlord. Got the keys uh, from inside his shop. The landlord opened up the shop. I got the keys and brought my truck home. Um, he still owed me the $1,200. But after a week and a half, almost two weeks of uh, uh, hassling and arguing with them, um, I finally got my money back. So um, that's what's happening with the, uh, with the drop kit. But um, I hope that made it up to you guys. Got the new hood um from jr auto parts out in santa Ana. um but yeah that's what's going on i already ordered the kit i put a i put a picture up on the screen here I'll turn on my truck um i put a, a screen um, the order confirmation it'll be here next week so if everything goes well okay it should be here next week um but yeah lesson learned definitely um when it comes to people working on your truck don't trust everybody make sure they're reputable um but yeah that's gonna be the end of this video see you guys in the next oh bernie's Shay. just a humble bounty hunter